football is back and I thought it would be fun to make a video about whether or not you can make a pair of boots out of the same leather that footballs are made of, especially since this came up in a recent Ask the Bootmaker interview that I did with custom bootmaker Jim Brainerd of JB Custom Boots. My name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm a musician and cowboy boot enthusiast. If you're enjoying the content so far, please subscribe, like, and comment. I'm doing a lot of videos every week and your subscription goes a long way to help me continue this channel. Before we talk about football boots, let's start with some history for some context. Lots of folks refer to a football as the old pigskin because the early days of the sport, a pig bladder was used to hold the air. But this soon was overtaken by rubber, which was much easier to inflate. So even though no pigskin is used in footballs today, the name has stuck. In 1930, Arnold Horween Sr. and his brother inherited their father's leather company after they both played and coached football professionally. From their experience playing and coaching football, they set out to make a better leather for the sport. They used steer leather and embossed it with a machine press, just like people do now with exotic print leathers, except they embossed it with pebble-like textures to make it a little bit more grippy. And it took off. The league loved it, and Horween Leather Company is still providing the same sorts of leather 70 years later for today's football. So can you make boots out of Horween football leather? Totally. Here's Jim Brainerd of JB Custom Boots telling me about an experiment that he did with the leather on a pair of boots that he made. Just a FYI, this is truly Horween football leather. In the pull tab, you can see the grain, but what I learned, a wet lasting of Horween leather, football leather, takes that pebble out of it. So that wasn't the best of ideas there. So Jim learned that the Horween football leather loses its distinctive pebble-like texture when it is wet lasted. And what this means is that when Jim was ready to make the leather the shape of a foot, he had to stretch the leather over a last. When a bootmaker does this, oftentimes they will wet the leather so it stretches as far as possible so that the fit will stay even as you wear the boot and as it breaks in. But as he stretched the Horween football leather when wet, the texture stretched out of it altogether. Jim told me that he'll make another pair of boots with Horween football leather in the future, and when he does it, he will only wet the leather a little bit, if at all, so that it retains that pebble-like distinctive texture we all know and love. A quick search online will show you a bunch of different kinds of boots using Horween football leather, but I can't wait to see Jim's next attempt at a pair of football cowboy boots. Be sure to check out the rest of my conversation with custom boot maker Jim Brainerd of JB Custom Boots at the link in the description or at the end screen. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and go Bills. Are you ready for some football boots? A Halloween leather party. Don't you wet last it? You know what I mean, inlay it with my favorite team, all you ready? Yeah. Why don't you check out the rest of my conversation with Jim at this Ask the Bootmaker interview. Or I got a music video down here that I think you might like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time, yeah. Are you ready for some football boots? Peace, have a good one. <laughs>